and welcome to our Japanese garden escape. I'm Teresa and today we'll be cleaning out our pond plants. So let's walk through the garden. That's the right hand side of the garden to the big pond. Follow me guys. So walking through the same area here. It's a beautiful summer morning. You can see here on our Japanese maples, there's some new growth starting. That's so beautiful to see. So let's keep walking along our pathway. And to our big pond. So that's at the lower end of our garden. So um, this pond holds about 20,000 liters of water. That's about 5,300 gallons of water. We have uh, put this pond in, it was I think about six years ago. Uh, the basic shape of the pond was dug out and then the fine tuning of the shape we did ourselves with just uh, shovels. We do have a deep uh, part of the pond, in that's pretty much the middle you can see here behind me. Uh, that part is about six feet deep. Uh, the rest of the pond is uh, shallower. So at the back there where we're going to be cleaning out the old plant growth from last year, here we made steps going down. So we did that in order to have different levels for different plants or so different water levels. On that side here, uh, we have the most shallow part of the pond. This one, depending on water level, is only about 10 to 15 uh, centimeters. That's about three to four inches deep. And here's where we grow different kinds of grasses. And so today I will be cleaning out, uh, starting with the grasses here, so the old growth from last year, and working my way around to the other side of the pond. So I will start on this side here. Uh, in order to clean out these grasses, I'll actually just pull them up. You see the, the dried grasses. So I'm not cutting them all the way down. I will just uh, pull out and cut a little bit the, the dried uh, bits you can see here. For doing that, I just use normal household scissors uh, because they're going to be getting wet and I don't want to use my Japanese gardening tools for that. So let's get started. We have in this pond snails, pond snails, and we also have shells in the pond. So that's because this pond is left completely natural and we do not have any type of filter system. The snails, they help with algae, so they eat algae, they eat um, around the stones and they clean off uh, other parts of the pond as well, which is great. And they, uh, we put a few in at the beginning and they have become really a, an army of snails, so they're everywhere in summer, you can see them. Then also we have shells in the pond, they live at the bottom, so the only time I saw them is when I put them in. They are quite big, they're about three inches like wide. And uh, these shells, they filter the water naturally. So apparently one shell can filter up to 600 liters of water per day. So when I clean out the pond plants, I actually never step in the water. Uh, so I technically could step in here, this is not very deep. But uh, I'm always scared to step on any snails or any other pond animals that live in there so because over the years we we've had quite a lot of uh, animals starting to live in the pond um, a few years ago newts started to live here which is really really fantastic to see uh, normally maybe we'll have a look later maybe we get some footage of some they usually come in spring and then they live in there until autumn or late summer and this is really really nice to see and as far as i know newts are a sign of good water quality so uh, I think the pond is quite balanced. Uh, you can see that the water is not clear, but that's okay. Um, it just has found a natural uh, balance, I find. So I do sometimes, I test the water with these test strips and it always turns out to be all right. In this video, I will not talk about the plants specifically. I'm gonna do a separate video about that in summertime when you can actually see them grow. Uh, some of them have blossoms as well. So. When we started with this pond, we just had a few plants put in, uh, here and there really. The plants were chosen uh, from uh, the garden center really, or they, they put that together for me, uh, so that the planting makes sense. That means the plants aren't here for uh, to look nice, uh, they are here to have a, because they have a purpose uh, for the water. We have 
foiled this on, so the foil is about a millimeter thick and underneath we have some sand bed and also some uh, like an, a softer underlay type of thing uh, in order to make sure the foil doesn't get any any damages and then what we did we just graveled uh, these parts of this part here for example that has gravel in there and smaller stones and also these banks over there they do have gravel and then on those we planted the plants and we just started out with a few small plants and over the years uh, you can see how much they grow so i think maybe next year will be time to to reduce the plants a little bit and also they start seeding themselves out all over the pond so at the beginning we had just grasses here and then other plants over there and now we find everything pretty much everywhere even the uh, Japanese irises from there they grow these days in the pond already uh, but that's very nice so let's keep cutting you see we got some algae here as well and um, I made the experience with algae that it's actually best to leave it alone so we have our snails that help with that um, and I help a bit with cleaning this old pond plant growth out but um, I worked out that when you take too much algae out during the summer when it gets hot we have some more and then but then I, I found that also newts for example and uh, young snails live in those algae so this is why I actually stopped uh, pulling them out and it works actually quite well so now here I'm going to remove a little bit from this area carefully and then I will cut these guys yeah so this this job is not one of my favorite jobs I admit but uh, it has to be done um, I usually oh, cut these plants in springtime at the beginning I used to do that in autumn time but in the last years the, the weather was always so warm during autumn and late autumn that the plants were still green that means they're still uh, using up nutrients of the pond so this is why these days I leave them until spring and then when the water warms up a little bit then I'll uh, I will uh, start cutting the plants or the old plants from last year side because I mentioned I don't want to step into the water I actually found some uh, I think it is snail eggs they put them underneath dead leaves uh, of the plants and so yeah this is really really great uh, and this is uh, exactly why I stopped taking out too much of the pond because the the old plant material that creates just the natural habitat and it, it turns into into mud and yeah uh, contains a lot of nutrients so this is why I prefer leaving some of it in there now uh, we're on to this side here this is uh, easier because i can just uh, go along and these plants here the leaves from last year i either cut them like so just either just below the surface or just above uh, some of them actually i can just pull out as you can see here so you can probably tell why this is not one of my favorite jobs to do but still it's a very nice day and i'm i'm enjoying it so let's keep going with this side
photos. Can you see this here, here, and here? I think those are the snail eggs, and you see they tend to put them on uh, old plant material, usually at the bottom. And so this year I keep pulling out uh, a lot more than usual. So what I will do, I will leave actually more old plant material in there. Normally I clean it out pretty. I clean out pretty much all of it, but this year I think I'm going to leave in there more because uh, this happened to us the first year round. We we cleaned it out too much, and then I was wondering why the snails are not getting more. So this I'm just going to put back into the water and uh, I'll be very careful with cleaning out. Oh, see, there's another one. <laughs> very sweet. bit here um, what I'm doing here this is also very shallow uh, and here you see what I'm fishing out here is all the uh, bamboo leaves that come off the bamboo behind me uh, so very carefully I'm just uh, picking that up because you can find a lot of snails I just had a few there uh, in between so this is why I'm always uh, checking everything that I take out to make sure there is no snail or anything else in there and uh, you saw me using this bamboo stick this is quite convenient when lifting up these dead plant material because I can just pull it to me because I don't want to step into that bit either and uh, you saw me uh, whilst cleaning you saw me checking all these leaves they're going really slow this year uh, for any snail eggs you see we got some more here so I take that off and just put it back in and um, when lifting these plants I'm always very careful because all these you see some new growth here already uh, they just grow basically in a little bit of mud and some gravel and so if I pull too much I may pull them out this happened to me before and this is why when lifting those I'm really slow and careful so uh, that the new plants don't get pulled out here all right then let's do the last little bit cleaning up the pond we are gonna do a follow-up about the plants and everything that lives in the pond later on in summer when we have more action in there and uh, that's it for today I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit and enjoy it it's really nice and cool underneath the bamboo so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, please give us a like if you did don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time bye